As Elon might say, if you've ever piloted a spacecraft to Mars with small children in the back, it isn't long before you hear, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Over and over. On Facebook pages dedicated to Starlink, you will see something similar over and over and over again. Where is my Starlink system? Where's my shipment? This video will not only try to provide an answer, but also get into the background about what's going on. You'll see examples of actual questions and answers from Facebook. And what's in the reservation agreement fine print that nobody reads? You might be surprised. And subscribe for future videos. The most common answer to those questions is, because it's a beta test, only a limited number of people in test cells will get one. And it will remain so until maybe August, September. Keyword, maybe. So what is beta testing and when did Starlink beta begin? Beta testing, beta, for those in the UK, is the process of releasing a product to a limited group for the purpose of working out the bugs before releasing the product to the public. Sometimes members of the public can participate in beta testing, but they don't usually have to pay for the privilege. But they're all fired up with the potential of Starlink and most jumped in to make it happen and see if it works where they live. SpaceX began beta testing in October 2020, and prior to that took volunteer signups on their website. Approximately 70,000 volunteers are paying for the privilege of testing the system. $4.99 for hardware, plus $99 a month. That's $34.93 million for the hardware, and an income stream for Starlink of $6.93 million per month. Not bad for a beta test, and a brilliant way to raise capital. What's confusing to some is that beta testing started with about 10,000 volunteers located in the northern U.S. and lower Canada to check out the satellites and ground systems before a public release. This created beta test envy, and a huge demand from people not selected to join the test. About 1,700 satellites have been launched so far to expand the test cells in North America and other parts of the world. In the U.S., the FCC has granted permission to distribute 1 million units. But governments in all countries have to agree to the system being used within their borders. Russia has already banned use of the system. Probably more repressive countries will be doing it as time goes on. Between February and June, about 60,000 more testers were added to the mix. The newly minted beta testers couldn't help but share their good fortune on Facebook setting off cries of, unfair and where's mine? Because it's in beta test. You could be in the same town where your neighbor got it and you didn't, leading to the question, why don't I have my system yet? Because it's in beta test. SpaceX has announced that 500,000 people have made reservations of $99 each between February and June with no guaranteed delivery date. That's $49.5 million. And to satisfy that demand just for current pre-orders within a year would require building and shipping almost 42,000 units each month, 21,000 per month if spread over a two-year period. SpaceX says they are losing money on each system but predict that a smaller dish and updates to technology could cut the costs to users in half. Time will tell. The question is... Will SpaceX be able to ramp up production to meet the demand? So, a great many people, not understanding what beta means, think that by placing a deposit, they will get the hardware in a matter of weeks. A similar deposit reservation method was done with the Tesla Cybertruck in November 2019. It has over 1 million reservations at $100 each. It won't be delivered until 2022 or 2023. Maybe. At the moment, you might get selected to receive the system, only if you are very lucky and are needed to test it in your area. Acknowledgement emails from Starlink sent to those making a reservation stated that it would be from mid to late 2021 before the system would ship, and some as late as 2022. Mid-2021, by the way, was July 2nd, so Facebook traffic about where is my shipment increased dramatically on July 3rd. Sorry. It's in beta test. So here are examples of questions repeated daily, if not hourly, on Facebook Starlink group pages, followed by info from Starlink. On multiple Starlink pages, 
I paid $99 two weeks ago. When will I get my system? Nobody on Facebook can tell you when you will get your system. Not until the golden email appears in your email box and you share it on Facebook. What is the phone number for Starlink so I can check on my order? No, there isn't a phone number that thousands of people can call daily to ask what the status is. And no, Facebook does not have Elon's personal phone number for you. I never got an acknowledgement email and my card has been charged. What email address can I send a note to? Yes, they did send an acknowledgement email if you typed your email address in slowly while high on adrenaline over the thought of getting a Starlink system. A lot of people probably had shaky hands when they filled out the order form. I want to move my dishy from my house to my cabin in the woods. Or, I want to use Starlink on my RV all over the country. Nope, you can't move your dish from your location yet. You are locked into an assigned cell. Mobility is planned and may be available as soon as the end of 2021 or maybe next year. Why can't you do it now? Because it's in beta test. SpaceX doesn't publish the size of Starlink cells, but estimates are that some cells are as little as 15 miles wide. Here is Starlink's official answer from the Frequently Asked Questions page. A link to it is in the comments. We typically ship Starlink kits out every two weeks. If you are placing an order or deposit in an area where we don't have coverage yet, you'll receive an email when the service becomes available in your area, and you'll have the opportunity to update your shipping, service, or billing details, or cancel your order. Note that there is a maximum number of users for each cell. From the agreement and who reads agreements about the deposit for the reservation. Availability limitations. Placing a deposit payment does not oblige SpaceX to provide you with the Starlink kit and services, and does not guarantee that the Starlink kit and services will be available to you. Enrollment limits may apply. Starlink kit designs and services are subject to change based on technological innovation. The service availability dates are estimates only and subject to change. SpaceX does not guarantee when services will actually be available in your region. Service delivery is dependent on many factors, including various regulatory approvals. The bottom line is, don't panic. Your number will come up. Remember that those who made the reservations have a priority over the 500,000 more people who will order as soon as completion of beta is announced. The real issue will be, can Starlink produce that many units in a short period of time? In the meantime, it's in beta test, and those with reservations have the hope of being inside a service cell when major production of terminals begins. Like I did, you will check your email every day, scanning the inbox for the golden email. Good luck. So if you found this useful, or at least entertaining, please mash the like button so others will see it, and subscribe so that you can be the first to view future videos. Thanks for watching, and remember, it's still in beta test for now. Meanwhile, I'm waiting for my Cybertruck. When do you think I'll get it?